Hi second graders, today we have a really short video for you and there is no writing assignment that you have to do today. Lucky! It's just ah. a video. But it's a video that's kind of important because we're going to be going over some words of something called the writing process, which is something that we will be using throughout the school year and in our writing. It doesn't mean that we're going to be doing every single step and everything that you hear every time we write, but they're going to be different things that we learn about this school year and we wanted to just let you know about them. So the first one that we have, the very first step in the writing process is to do something called pre-write. And pre-write means you are thinking in your mind about all the different ideas and things that you might want to write about. But most of it happens up here in your brain. The second part of the writing process is when you plan. And planning your writing is basically just getting the beginning, middle, and end figured out. Where do you want to start and where do you want to end up with your writing? All right. The third step is the draft. And a draft means your first time writing your paragraph or whatever assignment it is. It's just that very first time you're not worrying about spelling or any mistakes. You're just putting your ideas down on paper. Yes. Revising, number four, meaning, means that you add and take away words. That's it. So if I thought, oh, I really wanted to put this sentence in to make it a little better, I forgot to include this detail, you can go in when you do the revising step and make that happen. Yep. Number five is edit. And edit really means that you're going to go back for any mistakes. So that might be a word that's misspelled, a letter that needs to be capitalized, or even maybe a punctuation mark that you need to add at the end of your sentence. Awesome. Writing a final copy is the sixth step. So once you've done one through five, then you're going to write your final copy. That means all of the corrections have been made and then you're gonna write it on a fresh piece of paper that looks like your best handwriting and all of things are capitalized and all of the punctuation is there and it is your best version. All right, and as soon as you're done writing that best version, you can't turn it in yet. There's a step that you should really do first, which is called proofread. And that means to go back at the beginning of your paper and read everything that you've written just to make extra sure it's how you want it to be turned in. You know, Miss Marquardt, a lot of kids skip that step because they, they think that just because they got to step six that it's perfect. Mm -hmm. So don't ever forget, it is a very important step to proofread your work. Even if you're not doing writing, you should always proofread everything. You know, I even try to proofread all my emails before yeah. I send them to parents. <laughs> it's gonna be a skill that you need forever. Yes. <laughs> and our final step, number eight, is to share and publish. And what that means, sharing might mean that you're reading it out loud in front of the class, or maybe you're reading it to your family at home, mm -hmm. huh? And publishing means basically you're turning it in to your teacher. Your final copy is turned in and you're going to see how you did. And you know what? That's the entire writing process and that's all we wanted to cover for you today. It was a really short and sweet little lesson and again, there's no worksheet in the packet today. Yeah, and one more thing I wanted to mention about this is even though there's a lot of steps in this writing process, we won't do every single step every time we write. That's a really long process. But if we do one of these steps, you'll be familiar You'll be familiar with the word and you'll know what it means because you have watched this video and you'll be ready to go. 